San Antonio, which apparently you need to pay to get into. Yeah. Dollar parking per car load, free what, after five. What's but, this one called? Poteet Flea Market. The Poteet Flea Market in San Antonio, Texas. How's it going? Thank you. Thank you. Yep, we're on a mission. We're gonna find Castle Gray Skull. Yeah, I need a Castle Gray Skull for the RPG Connection. Uh, do an intro. But like, this is an idea I've been talking about for months. And then the irate gamer comes out with this He-Man video where he does pretty much exactly what I wanted to freaking do for my, one of my videos. But you know what? I'm still gonna fucking do it. I'm still gonna do it. That's right, Chris. I'm gonna do it anyway. And you know what? I'm gonna do it better than you. Wow. Just you watch. I'm gonna do it better than you. Oh no, I do know there's a gamer store over here. That's where you wanna go first, huh? No, we'll hunt Castle Grayskull first, dude. Nah, let's find that castle. I need that castle. You can buy some underwear over there for 3 for 12. That's what you need. Oh, yeah. You need some new underwear. That's what I did on my video. I was like, underwear, 3 for 12. Looks like I sniffed out a game store though. There's some games over there. Oh yeah, this is the one where it's quite smart. It's me, you Mario! Uh. You might have a film? And we're back. Yeah, not too much as far as filming stuff able today because a lot of these vendors don't want us to film. Yeah, they don't want us to film. We found some games though. So. Yeah, that's all right. We did find the place that had the Castle Grayskull, but the guy had already sold it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So Eric failed me. Yeah. Failed Eric. Guess we'll have to build our own Grayskull. I guess so. We didn't find much of shit there. We got a few games. I got, I don't even remember what the hell. Oh, Anticipation for like two bucks. And. What the hell's the other one? You got some crappy games, man. Yeah. Guess I'm buying some crappy games. It amazes me, though, like how many of the games on the NES are actually crappy. Like, most of the time, I just play them until I get a game over, and then I just turn them off. That's because, I mean, the technology was, like, not that great back then, and there were so many games that were just produced really just to turn a big, quick profit. Like, yeah. all the sport games. Like, yeah. how many copies of NES baseball do you really need? That's true. Except baseball stars, that game kicks ass. I don't know about that. That's an SNK sports game. I think if you want to, like, unless you're, like, in a wheelchair or something, you really have no business playing sports on a video game, all right? <laughs> you want to play sports? Go outside, dude. You can play on the Wii. The whole point of playing games is to do shit you can't do in real life. Yeah. You know, like fighting fucking aliens and killing dragons and shit. You should be playing fucking football. Go play real football. I played football in high school. Did you play football in high school? Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. Like my, well, I have a, um, a younger brother, and like, he's had his shit. And I'm like, always telling him, go out and play ball or something. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm gonna watch people play games all day. I'm gonna play Let's Play. So I'm like, what? We need more Jay Frieden on camera. <laughs> yeah, more Jay Frieden on camera. <laughs> and more me. More me ranting about this terrible generation. I sound like one of these old fogey people, don't I? Right. I'm all like, you sound like an unhappy YouTuber. <laughs> there's already enough. I don't, don't want to sound like one of those. Yeah, you, there's already enough of those. No, no, but it's true. Like, I don't understand jock gamers. I really don't. I mean, I, I really don't get it. That is true, dude. All the people, like, no offense, but all the people that, like, line up to get the new Madden every year. Yeah, it's the same fucking game, guys. The rules yeah. aren't going to change. 
Yeah. What happened to good old? I mean, I understand. I understand that they like update like the playbooks and stuff like that, and and like the team roster changes, which really all they're doing is they're taking like the statistics of one character and replacing it with some other dude's face and model. And like graphics get better, yeah, and everything. But I mean, come on, guys, yeah. it's fucking football. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Football's a great game that you can play. You know. Whatever. I think pretty much what it is now is just paying to hear Madden talk on a game. <laughs> we can watch him free on TV. Yeah. Does but he even still? Yeah, he does. I don't follow football anymore. I, I guess to be fair, like, I don't even watch football. I'm not a big sports fan. Like, I like to play sports, but I don't really like to watch sports. Yeah. You know, I'm, I was same kind of with boxing. Like, I really like to box, but I don't like to watch boxing. I guess I'm just weird. Yeah, we should go. I, mean, I think we're gonna hit up Propaganda Palace, dude, because they have a new store. What's Propaganda Palace? A uh, local guy. He's, uh, you know, supporting the local mom and pop shops. He has a lot of stuff, man. He has like almost anything you can think of. He has it. So that's cool. He's been wanting to open this new store for a while, and I think he has a lot of cool stuff. That's awesome. Let's check him out. Yeah. We'll see, see what he's about. The Propaganda guy. Yeah. That's a weird name for a store. It's like he's gonna start selling us a bunch of Nazi pamphlets. <laughs> All right, so we're at the Wonderland of the Americas Mall. We're gonna check out this new store. Hopefully he's here. That's cool. Hello. Hey. I finally came to check out the store. Hey, my yo. buddy, Carrie. Nice to meet you. He's a YouTuber too. Got a lot of uh, old systems in the back. We have just about every machine ever made. We've got extra parts, ports, controllers, connectors, power supplies. Sweet. Vantage. Satellite. Coleco Vision. Coleco, Coleco, Coleco. Looks really cool from the distance. Virtual boy. Yeah. You ever like duct tape to your head, just like walk around blind? Never ever turned one on. I played it and it made my eyes bleed. Really? Yeah. Like I remember. I played this once when it first came out, like in Toys R Us. Yeah, pretty awesome. And if I remember, it was just like a boxing game on demo. And it was it was not very impressive. There's a reason why 3D didn't take off. And there's a reason why 3D is so bad. But someone came in with an Arcane of Time for the 3DS. It was just, I love Arcane of Time, but the 3D just made my eyes bleed. Yeah, I hear ya. That's, that's and Link was like that, you know, like small on the screen. About how I am, yeah, I'm not so sure about the 3DS. I mean, I'm sure it's going to sell pretty well, but yeah. I'm probably not going to get it. Huh. There you go. <laughs> it takes about five seconds for it to kick on. We'll start hearing the music first. Oh, yeah. There you go. Do you, you feel like you're playing in the future now? Yeah. Let's make your eyes bleed. Now you're playing with power. <laughs> Sounds at least That's nice. That's a Nintendo moment. <laughs> Dude, you're yeah. gonna have to play. You're gonna have to put the camera down, unfortunately, because I don't think you can film that, but it's really cool. Right? Yeah. Like have you ever played the one? I have, actually, uh, when yeah. they first came out. We were talking about it. Oh, okay. Dude, he was none too happy. This looks way Jaguar. better than I remember it looking. You were none too happy with that. Uh, it's just that it was black and red. That's the only problem. Oh, just the wood, Tari's, towards the end of production room. Uh, this is crazy. You're face right up against this thing for two hours straight, what do you think it's gonna do? But your eyes would look like that too after binoculars for two hours. Remember the surgeon's warning that when you play a video game, you should be like an odd amount away from Yeah, <laughs> right. You guys got a lot of box games. Definitely. Yeah. And actually what you see here is just what fits here. I have a lot more than this, plus my other store. Cool. We're still moving in kind of, we still have a little bit of a mess, but it's slowly getting better in here. Have you been to my other store? I have not, no. It's over at the old Eisenhower flea market. It's been there for years now. How much are you selling this? 
Dragon Warrior loose is worth about 20 bucks, complete with bots art and mm -hmm. base, it probably ask about 60. 60? Yeah. It's pretty good condition too. For it, and it's in really good shape. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Sweet. It's good to know. Final oh, Fantasy 2. And Dream Master as well. Time's Quest. Freaking hide line. Dungeon Magic. I've got a lot of these games. I don't have the cases for them now. Yeah. The boxes, instruction manuals. Yeah, people got those boxes and they would just tear them open. And yeah, well, I see. I would actually save my stuff, but uh, my parents would throw it out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, when I went in the army, I had like a whole bunch of stuff. Like even, I even had like computer games and stuff. And I went into the army, and my mom like threw it all away. Yeah. It's fun to spend all that money and just <laughs> yeah. trash it. Yeah, I, you know, take good care of stuff. Final Fantasy games. These are greatest hits though. Black labels are worth more. There was. What's the background on that, um, that Gone Donkey Kong? Do you know? Uh, what's that? What's the background on that Donkey Kong? The background uh, came out in 1981. It was made by Coleco. Uh, Coleco made a bunch of tabletop uh, machines that were really popular. They basically had eight of them. Uh, there was Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Pac-Man, uh, Mrs. Pac-Man. Uh, there was Galaga, Frogger, Defender, and Cubert. Those were yeah. the eight. Cool. They're all really cool. They're really collectible. They're hard to find. A lot of them that were made were taken care of, but then they were kind of like thrown in a garage. And yeah. Collected. Tons of them, the back part uh, where the batteries go, uh -huh. were left with the uh, the batteries inside, which then blew up and corroded oh, and yeah. destroyed it. Did that happen to this one? Uh, I think that's what happened to this one, and they also like it's all taped up. Yeah, they had to tape it up because they lost the cover. That sucks. But uh, even even if it was cosmetically great on the outside, a lot of them broke because they left batteries in them, and, and the batteries blew up. They started getting that like fuzz, that white salt. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking. And, about. and once that happens, it, if it if it hits the board, it's toast. I've seen a couple of robs like that. You see them destroyed all the time, and so to find one that actually works is hard. To find one that works and is cosmetically perfect is even harder. This one's not in bad shape, it just doesn't have the cover. Mm -hmm. And the top sticker has some damage. Yeah. And the front sticker is gone. What? The so side what, is good. So what do you sell that for? One in this shape I would do about 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Because it works. It's just not the prettiest one, but yeah. it works. It still looks good on the shelf, man. Yeah. It looks awesome on a shelf, yeah, exactly. And it would look even cooler if it had the Donkey Kong sticker right there. But, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I stole an interesting piece of video game history, though. Mm -hmm. At the other store, I got tons of tabletops like that. Uh, I got a Space Invaders one that wasn't made by Coleco, and I've got a Defender one that was made by a different company, and I've got a copy of Pac-Man 2, cool. which was made by uh, Exe, the old software company, and that's really rare. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you never know what you're going to find. I always... I used to, like I was telling Eric the other day, I used to go to all the garage sales, and I would always pick up, but I've been doing this for 20 years. I've had plenty of time to pick up stuff. Now everyone wants to do it, and now it's kind of cool. Back then, people would laugh at you. Yeah. What you want that old junk for? It's just junk. I know exactly what you're talking people about. People still give me that, though. They're like, why are you reviewing NES games? Because it's, like, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. And they're way better than anything they make now. I'm sorry, they are. Everything they make now is just like part seven of a game I've been playing for 20 years anyway. Yeah. There's, still, there's a lot of sequels out there. There are some original stuff out there, though. There's I mean, not like, a whole lot of it. Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft is, like, is cool. Yeah. I like Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. Skyrim. <laughs> I haven't played that yet. It's not out yet, is it? No, it's about to come out. I think. Yeah, that's right. I'm waiting on the advanced I keep hearing copy everyone though. talking about it, though. Skyrim is Skyrim. I think we need an advanced copy of that. That Zelda Skyward Mine, Sword. Mine, yeah. I keep Minecraft. hearing about that, too. I always, I'm like, I'm going to build the Dalai Lama. And then I, I build it, and I look at it, and it's just like three blocks. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my little brother's really into Minecraft. He's crazy about it. But that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of people are. There's it like two games, channels so. dedicated to that. Yeah, there I, are. Yeah, it's dude. not my favorite game, but it's it's, it's a good game. It's a decent game. It's a decent game. It's insane. It's just not my cup of tea, but somebody likes it. If somebody likes everything. Yeah. We were playing oh, Turbo Graphics uh, Splatterhouse earlier. Oh yeah, that's a good version. Yeah, y'all want to play? Yeah, we'll play. It's very tempting. Eric, you should play it. What do you sell this for? 
I don't even, I, I tried doing research to find out what the hell that is, and I can't find anything. The only reason I thought it was the Eye of Sauron... Because of the eyes? Of the eye, it looks like I don't it. think it is. Does it, though? You, you remember the movie? Yeah, yeah it does kind of look like that. that. There should be a website where you take pictures and stuff, and you say, hey, does anybody know what know the heck what the this, hell is? this is? It's definitely a third like, party. Everybody talks about it. I don't want to say it's I'm custom, sure but it's, it, I don't think this is custom. I vaguely, vaguely think I recall seeing these in a store, and it's third party. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive it's third party. There's no way yeah. someone made that. Yeah. But I don't know who made it, and I don't know what it is. It, it could be custom, dude. On it. So you don't want to sell it until you know what it is? It could be custom, dude. I guess I could sell it, but I'd be afraid I'd be selling it too low because it's probably not something you see all the time. So um, how much How much would you want for it? I sell regular PS2 controller for about 10 bucks. How about we do 20 on that one? Does that sound reasonable? It works perfect, it, it's, and I'll let you uh, test it before you buy it. I'll test it out, but yeah, that, I guess that's, that's pretty good, 20, sure, because it is pretty cool. It is cool, and I've never seen one like it, and I've I vaguely, I vaguely have seen one of these before. I vaguely have, but I don't remember exactly where. I get to see every video game slash uh, heavy metal fanatic going, yes, this is my control. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it is pretty cool. <laughs> I've never seen a yeah. master you got a copy of MC Munchkin? MC, MC Munchkin? Munchkin? Uh, Any no, of your stores? Say that you, do. no. you don't? No. I, I love, I I love that game when I was a kid. That was the shit. It's kind of hard to find that one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I remember I was looking for it at the other I, store. I, I've since realized that as I try to revisit my childhood, that that game is... If you were lucky enough to get to play when you were growing up, you were one of the lucky few. Yeah. Since then, it's become impossible to find. Oh, wow. Is that a disc repair system? Yeah, you can uh, take discs and uh, buff them yeah. out with that make them work again. The original Intellivision looked just like that, except that it yeah. was gold. Yeah. Uh, these two panels here were gold, yeah. like right. this. This is the Tandy Vision, which was the Radio Shack version of the same thing. Right. The one they made for Radio Shack. They also did a similar setup with Sears. They had the, uh, what they called the... Uh, the like, like Atari uh, um, did. Uh, yes. Atari had their Sears video. Yeah. It was yeah. telegames. They would call it telegames. I'm going to turn this off. You done with it? Yeah. yeah. You want me to hook up the turbo or no? Yeah, man, sure. If I've you never want. played on one. You never played on one? You never played on one? Oh, you're in for a treat, man. Yeah, my mom used to work like at a Sears. Um, back in the day, I had like a Sears clearance center, and when the Turbo Graphics and all the old systems were starting to go down because of the Super Nintendo and Genesis, they had some there real cheap, and I wish I would have gotten it at the time, dude. Back like when it wasn't, a, you know, like back in the early '90s, late '80s, when nothing was collectors yet. They were expensive though. Yeah. The best time to have bought all that kind of stuff would have been like in the late 90s when nobody cared and it was yeah. just junk. Yeah. And that's when I would, I mean, I used to get crazy deals on stuff. Now everything has gone back up in price because everyone knows. Because it's been about 20 years. Yeah. yeah. That's how collecting goes you know, in 20 year cycles. I people said try that to revisit, before. people you try to revisit, like yeah, they try to revisit their childhood and now they've got money. In so. the 90s, everyone was about the 70s. The 70s were the coolest. In yeah. the 2000s, it was all about the 80s. I predict at the end of this decade, we'll be talking about how great the 90s were. Probably. Same idea. Probably. They were great. I keep telling my younger brother like to take good care of his games because they'll be worth something later. Yeah, my, I almost killed my brother the other day when he talked about getting rid of his Musha. <laughs> he had Musha on the Genesis. Don't ever get rid of that game. Yeah, he goes, he goes they're nothing to me. He goes, I, I don't care if I throw them out in the trash. He goes, these are just games to me. I'm like, okay, I was like crazy talk. Get, I was like, if you ever get rid of Musha, I was like, I swear to God, I'll, I'll kill, kill you. you. <laughs> this is the deluxe controller for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as you hit start, you should be ready to go. It's way up there. I'm not even sure if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, you might be able to see it better from back here, bro. If you want. Yeah. How are you liking it? It's pretty good. I've only played this on emulators before. You pirate. Double check that that key doesn't have it. So I guess at this point we're going to talk about what we got today, what we discovered. We didn't have too much footage because, uh, as Eric said before, a lot of these guys didn't want to be on camera. Yeah. For some reason that 
boutique flea market. A lot of the vendors just don't want to be in camera. Maybe they have warrants out for the rest. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there wasn't too much as far as games go. Um, we also ended up going to the new Propaganda Palace location. Um, so, um, actually, I guess I'll go first since I really didn't pick up that much. Um, I got three NES games, and speaking of Propaganda Palace, I got Baseball Stars 2. AJ hooked me up with this, so um, check out their store location. It's at the Wonderland of Americas, which is Crossroads Mall in town. But we'll put, a, we'll put an address in the description yeah. below. And um, also at Poti Flea Market, I got Casino Kid for three bucks and Anticipation for two dollars. So, I mean, they're not, it's nothing really it's okay. to brag about. I mean, I always wanted to get the Casino first, Kid. You know, family board game for the NES. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's weird. It's like a fifty dollar game, and it's like to play a board game. Yeah. Um, you know, it's Isn't like, that weird? It's like Monopoly on the NES. It's like Atari G six hundred. They released like. <laughs> God, the Rolex Cube? Oh yeah, Rubik's, Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. Cube. Yeah. They released that, and like it costs like you know eighty bucks or something to buy it, but it's like yeah. a, it's like a ten dollar toy. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Nah. Uh, I guess I'll go into what I picked up. Yeah, um, you got a good amount of stuff. I to found a, a few things. Uh, I found the Lord of the Rings for the Super Nintendo. Uh, I got this for five bucks, and I've reviewed the PC version of this before. Um, but this is a very really different. Uh, it's completely different on the Super Nintendo. I didn't also, even know there was one on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, there is a version for the Super Nintendo. I also picked up Breath of Fire for twenty dollars, which is a pretty good deal actually. Yeah. Um, and then later, I found at Propaganda, I found the old Prima Secret of the Games Strategy Guide. I picked this up for I think it was thirty dollars. I don't even remember. I think it was thirty. I picked it up for thirty. And what's cool about this is it comes with, um, I guess you didn't realize it, the color innards from the, uh, the actual game are in this as well. So I basically got some of the innards from yeah. the game in the strategy guide. And the innards is basically a little poster pullout that has like a map and the monsters and the weapons and the spells in the game and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I also found at Propaganda uh, Resident Evil 5, the collector's edition. It comes with all kinds of weird knickknacks. There's a little figurine, there's a. Um, you know, anybody's ever seen the collector's edition has the tin. It's got the little bag in here, the little necklace. There's got all kinds of weird crap. I've never even played that game yet. I have not played Resident Evil 5. I have every one on the GameCube, but I don't have you that. No, I'm a big Resident Evil fan, but I, I too have not played the fifth one. And I know that I should because I've heard it's a really good game. Yeah. Um, I, personally, I think Resident Evil 2 is the best in the series. This is yeah. my, my personal belief. And I know this is more like Resident Evil 4, where it's kind of like a first person shooter. A little yeah. moving away from the survival horror I've heard. But I still want to try it out because I've heard good things about it. Uh, I also picked up um, Fantasy Star 2 at the Blue Market. I got this, I think I paid 20 bucks for this. Yeah. And That's a good deal. For 20 bucks, Fantasy yeah. Star 2 is not a bad deal. Especially with the, with the box. Yeah. And I also found an old official Nintendo player guide. And I picked this up again, I think I got this for 10 maybe? I think so, yeah, 10 yeah, bucks. I think so. And unfortunately it's got like some writing in it. Somebody wrote a password over Mike Tyson uh, in his face. But um, basically what this is is that it talks about all the games that Nintendo had released up to that point categorized by the series, like the adventure series, or the education series, or the robot series. Those like, what, three games and for the yeah, Rob? Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Yeah, that's the education series, you know? I still want to buy that game, though. Just not going to pay 25 for it. What I thought was real interesting in this, when we were looking through, we found, like, Zelda uh, and Zelda 2. And, like, the cover art for Zelda 2 was obviously somebody just drew a random image in there, because it's not the cover. Yeah, that was released in Japan. It's not the cover that was released in North America either. It's just like some placeholder artwork, which which says to me that the game probably hadn't came out yet when this guy was made. Yeah, and then I noticed some of them aren't even. It's like a screenshot of a title screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, never mind. I see it now. Both yeah. the box and the title screen. Yeah, there's a title screen there as well. And what I like about this is that um, it's part of the, the history, but it also um, it talks a little about game itself, show some of the screenshots. And before we had things like Wikipedia, you know, this is basically how we knew what games were available in systems. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. 
back in the old days. Yep. So, um, the last um, pickups that I got, I found these pins. It's a little trick. This one's a black mage. Oh, yeah, it's not fancy. I'm not really sure what I'll do with these. It's just good. Maybe I'll get some mirror badge. That's the last name. Voice count. <laughs> but, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I just got a third dollar badge. Yeah. And lastly, I found this. And this is basically a PlayStation. I think it's a PlayStation 1 controller. But it works with PS2. Um, I'm not sure it works with PS3 or not. Did PlayStation always have two shoulder buttons? I'm not familiar with PlayStation. Yeah, I always had these two buttons. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar at all. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is weird. Yeah. And it's kind of cool looking. I, I vaguely recall. Like, he thinks it's custom. Yeah, I think that's a custom. Because we can't find any manufacturer identification mark on this thing anywhere. Yeah, we tried searching. Googling it, whatever. If any of you watching this know what that might be, yeah. comment below. I, I swear, I vaguely recall seeing these covered in plastic, like, sit in a Walmart. Or, or some store like that. But I cannot remember, like, what brand it was. I don't think it, it might not even be for a specific game. It might just be a uh, company that made, like, was, skeletons and stuff. I don't think it was for a game. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was for a game. I think it was just a just hard skeletons and skulls. Yeah, and I think stuff, it was just a third party. You know, they're trying to do something interesting to sell their, to sell their controller, third party controller. Yeah, that's what I think. I could be wrong. My mind might be wrong. Uh, my memory could be mistaken. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I think it is. And that was my pickups from today's uh, excellent adventure. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. I mean, I wish I could have came back with a little bit more, but. We got some good finds, uh, this time, well, last time I had hardly anything, this yeah. time I didn't want to pick up this yeah. So, yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, whatever, just let us know, uh, if you don't have any places in the area that you'd like us to go to, yeah. hit us up, just let us know, we're trying to get this thing started. We're even interested in, like, traveling around the uh, Texas area, yeah. uh, like, eventually, I guess we'll go, like, outside of the state, if we ever do any, um, yeah. yeah, we do some press stuff eventually, because I, I do do some of that stuff. Yeah. Um, and we'll visit various places, but if you think there's somewhere real cool we should go, you know, let us know, and we'll put it like on our map. Especially yeah. if it's here in Texas. So, yeah. And if you have any games for sale, hit us up too. If you know anybody, or if you're selling a game, if you own a store, if you want to be on the show, hit us up. And... Or if you just want to give us games, you know? Yeah, but yeah, thanks everybody <laughs> for watching, and I guess... That's all we got for today, right? Yeah, that's all we got for right now. I yeah. uh, hope our next excellent adventure brings us more of these uh, these old manuals. I really like these manuals. Yeah, the manuals are cool. But... Yeah. Later, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Peace. What the hell is I wearing this hat for? <laughs> I don't know.